<laughs> Alright guys, so we're back at it again with another vlog. I think I'm gonna combine this one with the uh, day I tinted Christopher's car vlog because I didn't get much content in there. I was trying to concentrate on tinting the car and it took all day. So yeah, this one right here is gonna be a vlog. Uh, working on this truck right here. Truth is, it's actually my cousin's truck and the radiator is leaking. There's a big crack right here. Yeah, there's a crack in the radiator over there, so I gotta change that shit out. These Tacomas, it's pretty easy because I already did my dad's one right there. We got the parts right there. First thing we gotta do is drain the coolant. Then, just gonna do a quick run through of what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna drain the coolant, disconnect this um, hose right here, disconnect this upper radiator hose, remove the fan, remove the fan shroud. Um, there's a lower radiator hose down there, and then there's two um, transmission lines going, or I don't know if it's transmission or power steering. Well, there's two lines connecting to the bottom of the radiator, so. There's um, four bolts, mounting bolts, that hose the radiator in on the front of the truck. It's like hiding behind the grill right here and then under here so pretty simple straightforward let's check out what this guy's doing christopher is over here oh, this guy just got a new double den right here oh, hey people uh -uh. Ding. Yeah, as far as tinting his car goes, it's pretty much done. All the bu most of the bubbles are out. You usually, you gotta let like the sun heat up and drop all the bubbles, and you can push it down. I know, be all good after that. But yeah, tinting a car is not easy, especially if you tint things like Lexuses and all the luxury cars, cause they got like um, door seals to keep all the sound out, and they're all like super tight. It gets kind of irritating. It took me multiple tries on like each window to tint it, but tinting is not like a thing you get up like right off the back like that. You gotta keep doing it and doing it. I mean, I wasted a lot of film doing his car, my car, my GS over there. So maybe when I continue tinting the GS, I gotta do the rear windshield and the front windshield. You know how we do, we black shit out out here. But yeah, my GS is still stock over there. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. I don't know if I should put all my parts back now I got the safety and maybe I'm gonna buy a new set of wheels just so I can run it as a daily. Something more conservative, so we'll see. But never mind all that, let's just get started on this truck. Hope you enjoyed the powwow vlog. It was a good experience seeing that um, graffiti and art. All right, first things first, we're gonna remove the uh, under tray with this electric ratchet. Make life easier. All right, we got the covers off and unfortunately, whoever worked on this car before forgot some bolts to hold the cover up and they left the old drive belt. That's how they do. Next thing we're gonna do is drain the coolant. Just remove the cap, make sure it's not hot. Allow for faster airflow. Probably want to replace this radiator cap too, but it's not my car, so I don't know, maybe later down the road. All right, we got the coolant draining. Usually, not all the time you're gonna have an obvious coolant leak like this one. Sometimes you're not gonna know where it's coming from, so you gotta pressure test the system, but luckily this one, pretty easy to spot, so we don't gotta do that shit. All right, while we're waiting to, for this coolant to drain, I think it's almost done, but I went ahead and removed the upper radiator hose. Now we gotta remove this fan. There's 12 millimeter bolts holding it in right there. Pull the fan shroud and the fan out at the same time. A tip when you're, I'll probably show it to you guys later, but here's a tip when you install the fan shroud and the fan. You don't wanna hit the fins on the new radiator because that's gonna fuck shit up and you don't want that shit to happen. I think this is one of the harder parts, getting this stupid fan out because the bolts are like super tight in there, but here's another tip. Take out the fan shroud first before you take out the fan itself. That way, you once you get the fan out, you can pull it all one time. Fan shroud has like four bolts going into the radiator. Here and one all the way in the bottom. Now it's gonna go Yeah, we got that freaking fan shroud and fan out. Now you gotta take out the hoses on the bottom. Down right there and down right there and the lower hose. All right, we got the hoses all out. Now we just gotta unbolt the radiator and it should come out. On a side note, I gotta adjust this hose because it look like they did some half-assed shit on this thing. All right, now we're gonna remove the radiator. There's 12 millimeter bolts. It's kind of hard to see, but it's hard to get to too, but let's get it. Yo, we out here fucking pulling radiators. Let me know if you need your radiator done. 1 800 J Vlogs. Oh. <laughs> and what he meant by that is there's hot light in me. Oh! 
All right, we out here unboxing. All right, let's see what's the brand. What's the brand over here? We got the Mishimoto fucking high performance radiator. We're gonna be racing this Tacoma. That's why. So we need a high performance. Yeah. Bam! Yeah. That's clean, bro. We out here. Fucking check these pins out. Nice and fresh. Damn, son. Like I said, let me know if you need your radiator change. All right, you gotta be very careful when dealing with this shit. You don't want to bend these pins. Alright, next thing we're going to do is slip it right back in. Oh. Gotta slip it in, folks. Yeah, check out that arm definition. Oh! oh. <laughs> Don't hide me up, Christopher. Uh. Alright, we got this bad boy in. Have to put the bolts in. And just whatever I said to do taking it off, just reverse. All right. Easy peasy. Alright, we got the radiator in. We had some technical difficulties. But that's what happens when you buy aftermarket. Some things don't line up. Alright, we've been running into some technical difficulties. Putting some shit back. But putting, putting the finishing touches. And put this up radiator hose. And then fill the cooling up. You gotta watch out with this. Because if this shit slips out of your fucking pliers. It'll snap your... It'll pinch your fingers real bad. I know from experience. You don't want that shit to happen. See, if you have it like this and then you have your finger like guiding it like this and it releases, it'll fucking snap your fingers. So, just go through and double check. Tighten that, tighten the shroud. Make sure nothing's touching. Make sure you got all the hoses in. All right, one problem we found on this thing is the compressor. We found the belt that we found earlier. It's actually the AC belt. And that's why the AC doesn't work on this truck. The compressor clutch just fucking snapped right off. And that's why the belt is all freaking snapped off like that too. So if he wants to fix his AC, then he's gonna have to change that compressor. I could take care of that. Uh, for a cheap price of $1,099, baby. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everything looks good. I'm gonna fill this bitch up now. Oh wait, are you feeling this shit? Bitch, you shoot the fuck up! Fucking... Uh-oh. <laughs> we got this original equipment technology Asian vehicle, baby. OE. Red, baby. Asian. Asian invasion. Yeah. Look at that form, though. Oh, oh It's technique, baby. Watch this. Eyes closed. Uh-oh. <laughs> we got everything. Put back, I hope. We just finished filling this bad boy up with coolant. Put about two, I don't know what that, five quarts, but. All right, Christopher, start it up. All right, you wanna start it up, double check for any leaks, make sure nothing's going wrong. Um, get it up to operating temperature. You want the needle between the cold and the hot. And just double check for leaks. Make sure it doesn't overheat. And then should be good. Good day, ladies and gents. Today we're gonna scan this truck right here because the check engine light is on. See that right there? It's up to operating temperature right now. Fucking check engine light on. Bam! Look at that. Maybe the check engine light on because it overheated, but we'll see what the codes are. Can't you reset? It? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Check out this scanner right here. Snap on, baby. Snap on. Fucking take your own money. Damn. All right, the fucking temperature looks good. It's not going to fucking peg into hot. That's a good sign. All right, this is a 2004 Tacoma 3.4 liter V6. Let's see what kind of codes we got. Uh, maybe low. Maybe fucking O2 sensor. That's common code. Could be. Misfire. Oh, damn. O2 sensor, P0031. Air fuel ratio, O2 heater, control circuit low, bank one, sensor one. Fuck, I hate O2 sensors. Gotta check that sensor, maybe it's time to replace. All right, as you can see, it's running good, getting hot. It's not leaking anything, I hope. Now it's time to change it on. I'm gonna shut it off and change the oil. Then we're gonna take it for a joy ride. All right, we just finished changing the oil. Now we're topping off the cooling level. Just gotta double check. Could be air bubbles in the system. Change the oil, put the oil, and we should be good to go. Take this to fucking kind of point tonight. Let's start this two wheel drive action, boy. See if she goes. <laughs> Nana! Check this out real quick. Make sure there's all before you start it up. Looks good to me. My fun. Did the oil change? Did the radiator? Car's truck is running now. 
no leaks present so time to take this bad boy on the road take it for a test drive and return the truck to my cousin other than that i hope you enjoyed this vlog it's gonna be a two-parter with christopher's this two-part vlog i don't know we'll see where this car goes and that car over there but that's gonna be it for today hope you learned a lot how to change the radiator just give you the basic idea of how to change the radiator all cars are different but that's pretty much it until the next time j vlogs peace out Chris Ferry, you guys on this day. Thank you, TJ, for working on my car all the time. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>